Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's Nick Cerniolo. I'm Chris. And I am Matt. And we're here with a very, very, very special guest today. Laura. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. It's Taylor A. Yeah. I, first question that I ha- I actually need the answer to. We're jumping well. to questions already? No, I, yeah, I'm asking you a question for sure. Okay, go. Yeah. Because it's Lure, a basic one. It's okay. Loray or Larry? Is that like, oh, wow. Um, So my, uh, I don't know. I think Larry's such a basic ass fucking name. Mm-hmm. Like, I think Larry's such a, like, oh, Larry's coming. Like, you know, it's so boring. Yeah. So I think it Loray. Is, it's like one of the names that, like, if you make up a name, mm-hmm. you go with, like, Larry. And I was just watching um this, like, podcast episode we kept before coming here to, like, get the bio of podcasts. I haven't uh-huh. done so long. <laughs> And there's this girl podcasting or interviewing Drake. Yes. And she literally said my name verbatim. She's like, yeah, I would probably name my kid Larry with like an I. And Drake fucking looked at her and was like, so now I'm wow. just like, wait, I want to change my name because Drake thinks it's awful. But like, would you be, you're comfortable with both? I think that, yeah, I'm fine with both. So like either Larry is fine. Okay. Like, how, do you, how is there two? Like that always confuses me. Because oh, like, I'm always just... like, I don't know what to say. Let's get on memory lane. Um, so I, I was a Mally Cyrus fan account. Right, oh, so oh, you know, wow. like stand accounts will like mix their name with your name. Mm-hmm. They were like loving um Nick or like loving Sternelia or something. Okay. Yes, I was obsessed with her. So I was like, you know what? Her name is Miley Ray Cyrus. My name is Larry. Larry sucks. Let's combine the two and Larry Ray Cyrus with my name. Oh, that's hard. Oh, but then I ended up, yeah, I was like, wait, Larry's kind of fire. So I just yeah. kept Larry, and that's just that's it. hard. I didn't know you were a Miley Cyrus fan like that. That's kind of crazy. It was bad, Nick. When I tell you, like, I used to like fight her. Like, I used to go to war for her. Was so, were you a Miley Cyrus fan or like a Miley Cyrus Hannah Montana fan? Like her as a person or like, oh, I think it started when I was like, I don't know. I think it was more so just a Miley Cyrus fan. I didn't really fuck with Hannah Montana. Oh, I wow. I don't like the double life shit. I'm sorry. Okay. That's a valid I feel valid like I'm take. living the double life stuff right you now. You are? Yeah. I think so too. I feel like I have like, yeah, I have my Hannah Montana moments. Like, I What fly is the in, actual like, line? Is it double life? There's no way she or, says uh, that. Or best of both worlds. Best of both yeah. worlds. Yeah. See, she said but it in it's a way positive. more. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best hers. of both worlds. Um, you mix it all together, and, and you know it is the, the best, best of both worlds. Okay. Wait, okay, so now I can ask you guys a question. That of I course, yes. know. So as triplets, like let's say he has to get Invisalign, right? And I saw I was gonna ask this, but I think it's stupid. Do you guys all get Invisalign, so you still look identical, even though you're not the identical one, right? Me, the dentist when we got the Invisalign told me and Chris that we literally have like identical smiles. So like we we are both getting the Invisalign, but like I think. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> like it's like same amount of time like for treatment and all mm-hmm. that stuff. So it's yeah, good. me and Matt have had the same like tooth problem since we were like kids. So yeah. y'all are the identical ones, and you're just like the gay. It's one. like swapped. <laughs> like it, you're it's, just gay. It's swapped so often. Like when we were younger, people used to be like, "Oh, Nick looks so different from Matt and Chris." Mm. But then once we like got older, people used to say that I look like Matt. And I feel like we're kind of veering back into like Matt looking like Chris. Like it's always no. I feel like always, right now we're at like me over here, Nick over here, and Matt's like the dead blend yeah. of both. Yeah. Has me there been and a Nick. time where you guys just all look exactly the same? Oh yeah, or like yeah. Morphed into one. I feel in like a sense? I feel like I mean I think when we all had our heads shaved, it was like okay. Well, like when we were like growing up, and like they weren't. It wasn't like oh, I kind of want like a low taper. This it was just buzz across. Well, no, we just, just like I didn't know there was like really. Op- I didn't know there was really options. Like, I, didn't I used either. to be like like you know when you're like a little little kid and like you'll, they'll take you to the barber shop and there's like ten haircuts like yeah. those photo options like the, the side profile. Our, our mom's <laughs> friend used to cut our hair, so it was always just kind of like. You sit in the chair and you get what you get. Yeah, there like we, no... like she would always take our input, but I was always just like just cut my hair off yeah. like i had a buzz cut for far too long i yeah. wonder like those like do you mention the kids that have to sit there and take the photo and be like the um one out of a hundred photos how do you get that because i think i'd eat like a mullet photo just like the side profile I'd be so i feel like so... it gotta be wigs what <laughs> i feel like shadow <laughs> fade yeah, I mean, I mean, that's an example of what they're gonna cut. yeah why would <laughs> no, they but i feel wig. like sometimes i see the same lady rocking like four cuts to like okay promote. that's true you know what i mean yeah so that it's is like true. so maybe she just comes in every four months. And that is just, true. I don't know if I've ever <laughs> seen that. Like in have the magazines ever, uh, when it's like all the women's haircuts, I feel like the same lady has like six. Like she's promoting like different. He has a point. You know Listen, what I mean? We're gonna just like agree with him because I uh-huh. see what he's saying. I see what you're gonna put down. Mm-hmm. I don't agree, but I like where you're going with it. But like, let's jump back on this. Have you guys seen the guy wigs? Like there'll be like um bald men. They'll just like slap on a shadow fair yeah. on top of their What's head. What's that called? Yeah. Um, toupee. toupee. I don't it's know. Called, there's but... a name for it. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh my god! I don't know, but I, just, <laughs> I was about to say, like the one. second I feel like I need one of those, mm-hmm. I'm walking to get one. Dead ass. Yeah, like there's gonna be no hesitation. Like, do you if think I'm bald, you're gonna I'm bald? Like, yes. I hope not. I'm gonna get the tattoo lineup. The tattoo lineup yeah, is like, crazy. I'm gonna get the tattoo like full. Do you know how people get the little black dots and it makes a haircut? Have you seen that? 
I don't know. I was going to agree to make him feel heard. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Know. He just I've knows random that. things today. <laughs> no, like, like, I've seen no. a guy that has no hair, obviously, and he has like a slight tattoo like everywhere hair should be, and it just looks like he has like really short hair, but it's actually just bald. Well, shout out to you, Baldy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I forget you. who it is. Do you guys think you're going to bald? Yeah. Actually? Our dad's bald. I'm actually saying you got your dad's bald. Yeah, but or? our grandpa had hair till he like died. Oh, shout out to grandpa. Wait. Damn. No, he I'm had, sorry for your no, loss. No, he had it. He, he, we never met him, but I know like all the photos I've seen of him. Like he had hair until he was gone. Oh, for sure. Okay. I feel like you guys are gonna have hair. Like, Maybe guys, it skips a generation. I hope that it's like a so. crazy raffle. Like one of us bald. Like but next my dad week, rocks and bald. Has hair forever. If it's you, that's no. Like then never mind. Then I that's take homophobic back my, as hell. I take back my Jimmy rocks being bald. So shout out, dad. Yeah, shout he out does. Jimmy. He really shout knows Jimmy. The picture of your mom and dad at the grocery store. Yeah, oh, that, was yeah. Like, that is so cute. Such a yeah, great. How does it live my dream? Seriously, <laughs> that, dude. Well, I don't even know how to answer that. Wait, why am I draw with dubbing? I just got here. Hold that on. That is crazy. Uh, but like seriously, actually, like you guys, I feel like your parents are like the best parents because you they raised amazing kids. Like, oh my shout god! Out, shout out to my mom, Mary Lou, camera, and Jimmy. Every camera, like y'all are, are great. My mom kids. feeds off those compliments. Really? Yeah, she loves them. So yeah, much. she's gonna be really happy to hear that because I've lived in. LA my whole life and I've been through a lot of influencer um, groups and I've seen how people are and y'all like actually like y'all top tier yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, ask you a question about that how long have you lived in LA and like when was the start of your like YouTube like career I'm glad you mentioned this question yes. Chris I'm so curious well, I really I was don't a little know. boy in Compton right no um I lived in LA my whole life and um, I started becoming like an influencer or not. I wouldn't use influence. I said myself a content creator because mm-hmm. I don't feel like I'm here to influence. When people be like, oh, my God, like you really did help me through so much. I'm like, bitch, I made a diss track. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I said the same like, shit. I, I mean, right. I made I play Roblox. Like, mm. so um, I feel like it's just content. And Your content that, creation influenced. Oh, like you made content to create content and like not just literally just influence the girls but they're influenced by what you're making wait why are y'all but I yeah, just said but like y'all love way me or more this is crazy descriptive yeah I did um, I just brought it to yeah, the next level dude, cause you ate that Chris you're a bad bitch cause that's what I feel like I feel like I when we make content I'm just making it to make the content I think is funny and if they're influenced by it so help like that's great for them but that wasn't my intent and I think it's really cool that a lot of the girls are actually like our fan base thing girls cause it's mostly girls but they genuinely find like such like power in the fan base and they think it's awesome it Tribe. makes me so happy I, I, I like um we'll go back to the content thing before but balancing up what you said i think what i like the the reason why a lot of people get inspired by you guys it's so interesting to see like three people that don't hang out with the back you weren't in a concert house you didn't you know clout chased your way out to the top you guys genuinely are just amazing and like your energy shows that through like you know youtube and also like your bond is just like it's so normal it's so relatable and it makes sense you know so, like, I can see why people get inspired because, like, it's like, damn, like, if they can do it, I can do it, too. It's so cool. Like, I feel like, like, even at meet and greets and stuff, like, we've met fans that are like, oh, I'm way closer to, like, my siblings now because of you guys. And like, I'm, siblings like, that... that watch us and they're like, that's cute. You know? I wonder if there's more triplets out there that are, like, that's trying a, to make it out. That was a question Chris was going to ask you, but I'm stealing it because I have it now. As are we should. the Are we the first set of triplets you've ever met? I think you're the first set of triplets I ever knew exist. Wow. Really? I know, well, like, what? They don't just casually walk around. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. Wait, Quinlan said something yesterday that was so, no, I think it was two days ago um, at my party. She called you guys the same face people. <laughs> that's so <laughs> crazy. Same face people. Crazy. Same face people. We had, like, <laughs> multiple sets of twins growing up. There was, like... There was triplets and then like a like a one older brother. We're, yeah. Which is us too. But then they were I don't know. I don't even know who you're talking about. I don't know. Would you just make it up? No, I didn't. I swear. Stay no, because like they were like, like wait, you're talking like they no, were like, just they were a like, they were like a set of triplets that were like three years younger than us. So we just give them our triplet clothes, but like for you know what I mean? It was just well, like our hand me down. Yes, yeah. basically. Our triplet clothes. No, we our, well, our shirts with three head holes in it. <laughs> yeah. <regular>. Our triplet, <laughs> our whatever, triplet clothes. Whatever. Wait, so have you guys like ever like linked up with other triplets? I don't <laughs> no, know. Oh my like, no, we, we filmed did, um one of those Jubilee videos. The, know, the odd one. one. Did you actually? Yeah. Wait, how was that? I want to do one so bad. It was so fun, but they were like a little scared because we weren't as big as we are now, but they were scared that like we'd be noticed by the other people who are a part of like the Yeah, I think it was like right before we had like a million subscribers. Oh shit. Right? Yeah, it, well, we were at 300K, but it was when we were, like, getting 100K a month. 
So it was like, yeah, we were, it was like, insane. On, like we were so they were like a little terrified that like we were gonna get there and like mm-hmm. a group of like like we couldn't do that now. Triplets there, were. but like when it was when we did do it, it was good. Nice, nice. But nice. There, that was a lot of triplets there. Which one? Was, so it was like the video where basically they had to take like, the odd one out. Yeah, yeah, like we had to figure out who was in triplets. Oh, and we but did also, right away. The crazy thing is too, like I. When we got there, I didn't say anything, but I recognized one of the groups of triplets as well because they also do social media. So I knew there's like, another group of TikTok triplets. Like it was like these three guys, and they were on like this. They were they're like comedians, and they also were on like this Netflix show. And I had seen the Netflix show like forever. It was like ago. the floor is lava like, one or something. I was on the floor is lava. You were? Mm-hmm. Wow. No way. It was like insane. It was like traumatizing. I kind of wanted to. What happened when you did you fall into the lava? I did. What it happened? <laughs> it Wait, can we so, watch this? Yes, it's on Netflix right now. Shout out. to No way. But no, actually, traumatized. There was glue. It's so it's glue. You know there. Right? Oh, yeah. It's not. It's cold too. Oh, it's cold wow. as fuck. But I the fell into it, and there's glue in my. Oh my god. So you know how like when you're pulling off glue off like yeah, your, yeah. Your armpit hair. I had ass hair at the time. Oh, and I was so <laughs> how did uncom- it not? no, it was bad. <laughs> how, wait, how did it get on your ass though? Did you- he fell into I the lava. It was like everywhere. You really got everywhere. pants on. I did, but it was just that's so it's just much. Everywhere. Matt, imagine okay, being fully sure. clothed and dumped what was in the glue? Yeah, the process like, of going home? home. Like, did the you process? go home covered in glue? No, I, they let me shower after, but it was just like it was just like I was trying to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. trying to go home. There was no. lava in my hair. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if I, no, hair. that's what I'm saying. If I ever get like slimed at the Nickelodeon, like I've never oh, been. If I get slimed, I'm it's bombing. over for everyone at Netflix. I'm like, I can't. Oh, I would be so. It's not Netflix. Wait, I think honestly, Nickelodeon. I don't know why you just asked that, but like. That's cute to you getting slimed in the next few years because I feel like I you're can't. gonna definitely if I get, get slimed, slimed. Like, no, they'll use that clip too, like right before. Yeah, yeah for sure. Slimed. But I can't. If I get slimed, it's oh, game bitch, over. you're getting slimed bad. I can't get <laughs> slimed. <laughs> it's it's bad. Nickelodeon is me. Like, 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 I'm gonna slime. Get slime. What do you want to say, dear Chris? I said if it's not Nickelodeon, it's me who's gonna slime them. Like, I'm gonna get a bucket of slime. I'm gonna make my own slime. Just fill a bucket of glue. Like, you just wake up on a casual Sunday. He's like, I got you. Slime me. Like, I can't do shit if Nickelodeon. Odian slimes me. If you slime me, like oh, it's, it's game over. Yeah, like He's you're coming done. over to me, my house. Oh, <laughs> legit, I'm. Um, yeah, I'd be out in a split second if you slimed Wait, me. Wait, so I'm curious. When did, was the beginning of your social media journey? Like Our, the very beginning. Our mom is Portuguese, and she has always wanted to take us on a trip to Portugal. We don't speak the local language Portuguese. But luckily, our sponsor Babbel makes it easy to learn everything we need to know in only 10 minutes a day. With Babbel, we can practice real-world conversational phrases with each other and our family. And it will make our future travels that much easier. From ordering food, asking for directions, and telling mom I love you, Babbel makes it easy to start learning a new language in a short amount of time. Here's a special limited-time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at Babbel dot com slash triplets get 55 percent off at babble.com slash triplets spelled b-a-b-b-e-l dot com slash triplets rules and restrictions may apply nar um i would say 2016 that's when i fully started and i um that's I, so crazy i know i was i've been here for so long seven years seven is it you seven? Did you just research? Calculate? Yeah, I, no, I just oh. I just sat down and I went 16, 17, 18, I'm like 20, and then 2023. Yeah, so seven wow, years. That's crazy. You witnessed like there's. You, you could literally like see me think. Like, when <laughs> like I, so like, when, like, I was when you like, started like in your like very beginning stages, what was like popular at the time? Like what apps were like Vine? That's crazy. Okay, yeah. Like I know. Okay, do it that's for the so Vine. wild. I know, do it. But then you remember musically? Uh-huh. I used to be such a fucking user. I used to think it was, <laughs> no, it was bad. Like, my hand movements, well, I was so competitive, so I would, like, sit home, and I'd be, like, working out, like, do arm exercises to get my hand movement right. Exercises oh, I, It was crazy. serious. I wanted to take over Baby Ariel's career. Okay. I wanted to <laughs> do them all. But um, I started officially on YouTube, and then um, I felt like I don't really, so I don't take it too seriously. I think mm-hmm. YouTube, if I took it as a job, I'll, like, lose my creativity. Oh, yeah. And I'll be burnt off fast. Mm-hmm. So YouTube, for me, is, like, more so, like, a place where, like, I will put my all into. Yeah. Like, so that's when I fully started especially that seven doing, years ago. like, YouTube for seven years, like, you the, you have to feel like a burnout or, like, oh, you're, yeah. like, repeating content a little bit. But mm-hmm. it's, because, I mean, we've only been doing car videos for, like, two years, but it's, like, how much more can we talk about for 20 minutes every Friday? I mean, I love them, but it's, like, 
Let's get some more ideas. Like what really. what are you doing to make sure like your content is still like relatable and entertaining? Like what's your process? Bitch, I live. That's it. I live. No. Um, but yeah, bitch, I live. Mm-hmm. I live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um for my videos, I feel like if you watch some videos, it's a very just kind of fast paced. And mm-hmm. we're so nostalgic too, because a lot of people watch when they're growing up and I'm blessed to still have a lot of people watching me now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um I kinda want it to be like you're watching a TikTok. Like you know, like yes. your intention yeah. span is like going so fast. Yeah. For me, I can't sit and watch a long video. I'm not saying I don't watch all videos because I do watch all videos. Um I still watch all videos. But for my videos, I want them to just be like this. So I feel like that's what people like can tap in and be like, okay, you know what? If I know if, I, if I'm sad, I'm gonna watch the race video. That's gonna be a good video. Yeah, we literally we literally met when we were at VidCon. We met with this lady who works at Instagram, and she said that people's like like reels because she was telling us about reels. She said reels do best in like if they're like less than six seconds long. Like that's how short people's like attention span has gotten to. Is like if you don't in, like engage someone in six seconds, you're gone. No allegedly but the okay <laughs> first of all the instagram girls at reels they be really trying to get people to own reels yeah they're, they're so no, they're all about it. The reels. like they reels love them. like go off like reels does well literally you know? can't get enough with the reels I'm like, i was at vidcon this year and all i kept hearing was reels 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 so i'm just like maybe i should get on yeah. reels and youtube shorts you're you're it's trained the move now you, like you, it's the move you guys post shorts no no no, no. What i don't you guys know why even i said do? that like what's your niche i'm curious we drill like long form content every Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday. I'm sorry to cut you up, but when you said we drill, I just thought of like y'all in New York legs just like, <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> so wait, so you guys just post car videos, and then you post a video on Friday or yeah, Fridays, Friday, car Wednesdays. Video. So Wednesdays is like a challenge of vlog or something like just that. Just some random Wednesday Fridays thing. is always a car video. For the past like two years, it's been a car video every mm-hmm. Friday. Mondays are these. And then and Mondays guys... are podcasts now. So, oh, nice. Yeah, now we have like, three times a week, which is, like, our, intense. Like, all of our content is long form, but, like, we have, like, such, like, a crazy fan base that they, they'll all take their, like, favorite moments and, like, obviously edit them. So, like, our fans honestly do our short-term content for us. So, like, they post it on TikTok and yeah, stuff? Yeah, it's like, amazing, they're... though, because, like, I, I said forever ago, like, we were doing... We were doing this, it was Claim a Track with Johnny Orlando. I remember we were filming it. And it was like one of the things he was talking to us about when we were talking about was fan pages. And I swear to God, like we would not be able to do what we do if fan pages didn't exist or TikTok. Yeah. Because yeah. like, well, we never really I feel used like... TikTok, but it was like our fans were putting our content on TikTok and it was resonating well. I feel like our fans are significantly better at making short form content of us than I would. Anyway. I agree. Like, yeah. I could not edit the shit they do. It's fucking like hilarious. Like, yeah. They, Cause like what they it's... find funny, I don't even really find funny until mm-hmm. they edit it like that. Like, oh my God. I like scroll and I'm, I normally like if I watch back a full car video, I'll like laugh here and there. But with the fans edit it to make it funny for them. And then, oh my God, I, I find myself dying laughing at my phone. I feel of, like, like also your fans are so like, I don't know. I like, they're smart because like they're like oh we're gonna get clout too so like, every like i've seen <laughs> yep. your fan accounts with like what two million followers before no it's like, crazy insane she, her creator funds probably pop it and like for s- sure sometime i literally look at like fan accounts and i'll like slide because i'll be engaged by it and uh-huh. i'll be like 500k i'm like that's crazy <laughs> that's Wait, y'all should be like low-key like having payroll <laughs> not because they like they bring us new youtube editing. viewers so it's yeah. like do your thing you can get your bread yeah <laughs> like make your edits and get your bread Go help crazy. me help you. So i'd love sweet. to see one of our fans do, like a brand deal like in the middle of like a video like it's like it's Please, us for like six seconds brand deal? yeah it does us for like six seconds and it like, just cuts to them and then it's like the end of the clip <laughs> like, i'd love to talk about anything but it's me it's me the entire time yeah it's, like, like, it's like a 45 second clip and like 30 of it is their brand import. yeah it's just like, like where it's like a sandwich of us <laughs> in the middle of their brand deal wait so do you guys get like overwhelmed when you have to film like so many videos because now i'm thinking about it, i'm just like you doing this and your your car videos and then also your um videos for Friday. So like when do you have time to like be a human being and sit there and be like, okay, life is okay. Uh we don't. Okay. So like <laughs> yeah. no, but Let's... it's it's kinda like we're making time for it. Like we do a lot of filming, but when we go back to Boston, because we live in both places, like it's so much easier to like film there and I feel happier filming there. So sometimes it's just kind of like our fans supply us a lot with what we're going to talk about. So we like and we like a lot of time we'll repeat like a, an old video topic and like do it again. So when we come here and we're like vlogging and stuff, we'll have like 10 videos for Fridays. So like we don't like take breaks, but like we film in like one chunk at a time. And for me, it like, easier. like not even finding time to do regular life stuff and stuff like that is the problem for me. It's just like with how much content we upload is making it like engaging and creative and not copying the same stuff over and over again. 
I mean, your videos aren't repetitive at all. Like, I will tell you that. And I think all your videos, like, they have, you know, you guys bring so much to the table as, like, individuals that, like, I can, I can't get bored watching you. I'm just more so concerned for, like, y'all to be, like, not burnt out and to be okay. No, for so. sure. I feel like us three being, like, so similar but also so different is, like, huge. Because a lot of people, like, don't know that we have personal interests outside of just, like, group stuff. Like, same with you. Like, what are some personal interests you have that, like, your fans probably have no idea about? Valorant. You love like, Valorant? Yeah. yeah, I recently posted about it, and all my fans were tripping. They were like, oh, my God, wait, you play Valorant and stream this, but I can't stream for a, a life. Oh, I, I hate cannot, yeah. I hate yeah. streaming so much. It makes me so uncomfortable. But Valorant. So you're like, are you, like, in gaming, gaming, or just that game? I used to be so deep into gaming, mm -hmm. but I think just Valorant, like, it's just like it's nostalgic for me, and mm. also I have friends who play, so it's time for me to just hang out with friends. Yeah, but also I want to get into like some weird activities. Like I feel like being like the, I want to be older, you know. I want to like okay. go, I want to start planting trees and shit. Like, like yeah, oh, you need like, like some little hobbies. Yeah, maybe. I need cool. some cute little hobbies. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's like painting, right? Reading. Painting just sounds like yeah, you got your shit together, bitch. You're doing your big one. Yeah, like if you have time to like paint, like go off. Like if that's you have crazy. time in general. Yeah, go if off. you have time. And then you use it to paint. That's wild. Yeah. I can't believe that. You know, do you think you're going to be one of those old people who like go for morning runs? No. Never. Ugh. No? I want a garden. If I can go a for I'm going to do like, yoga next to a cucumber plant. That's my plan. <laughs> like, if I can't do like a morning run at my youthful age right now, like fuck doing that in like 10 years. I, I, like, I'm like, don't y'all have arthritis? Like, how are we running? No, That's legit. Crazy. Arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel, like, I feel like if I had arthritis, I would run. I wouldn't you should be running. Up. You definitely should. But I would also, just get like a ton of cortisone shots and probably sit still. Like if I had wait, arthritis. what a cortisone shot? It's for it's arthritis. Like, yeah, it's like when you have arthritis, they do it. I think. Do you watch Grey's Anatomy? No, no. both our parents have arthritis. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. sorry, parents. <laughs> That's wow. how I know. I think is that the I don't right know. Yeah. I can't. Isn't arthritis qualified. only in your hand? Yeah. Basically. Okay. Is well, it? I, think, I feel like there can be other places for arthritis. Popular in the hands. Though. <laughs> <They're> popular. <laughs> very popular. Yeah. Very, popular, very, in very popular in the hands, though. I hope it's not like you know a family thing where y'all don't get it. Dude, yeah, I can't. You need to stop editing so much. I know. So before you I need get a it. carpal tunnel and arthritis, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna hit me at the same time. <laughs> no, like, there's <laughs> probably oh, so many things that we haven't like endured the the um pain of yet like because it's so new like everyone typing and stuff iphones your eyes like oh we're gonna I can, I can feel the when our pain, generation we're gonna is be old so as shit, like we're all gonna not be everyone's doomed. gonna look like that halloween costume where like your no. head falls off you know like, everyone's <laughs> head's gonna <laughs> everyone's head's gonna be in their lap in 10 Legit. years <laughs> just <pull it> like, <laughs> like that like literally uh, oh my god uh, i think our we're all like what english hello <laughs> um we're gonna be blind because the way they were all up in our phones. No, yeah. and for like long, She's long. looking at over there. Oh, like you're like a paper. Out. Yeah. I was like, you're a bug? Are you being silly? No, <laughs> no. And for like long periods of time. Like I'll go to bed and then I'll be on my phone for like, and it's the only light in my room for like an hour. <laughs> and I was no, what's at crazy it, to me is like face. every single morning when I first wake up, I instantly go on my phone. And then I feel like I shouldn't have done that, but I just do it anyway. Like, I'm, yeah. I'll am i really wake up, check the Dude, time. Dude, people be putting their phone in their bathroom so that they're like, oh, I don't look. Like, it's not the first thing I do in the morning. No, that's crazy. Arrington, he like leaves his phone in his or my laundry room, and he will like, so funny, Arrington. I'm sorry for calling you out, but so he'll do this and like I'm gonna leave my phone in my laundry room, so I'm not on it when I fall asleep. My door has a clear view from his door to laundry room. I'll see him at like 1 a.m. walking to the laundry room to use his phone, go back in his room. No, because like I, could, I just like how do you wake up? Do yeah, you, my phone's like an alarm. actual. Alarm I need clock. an alarm. Clock. I feel like he like low key still stinks his phone back in the room. I don't mm. think he lives in the laundry room. Mm. So he's him. a poser. He's a poser. He he's faking it. But... Wow. See, that's brutal for me. Like I could not. I could not. I need like, my that. phone to set my alarm, but like sometimes I feel like iPhone just my alarm doesn't go off. Does that happen? No, that's like, just you. Like, doesn't no, I think, you're just, I think you're just like I think you're just like in the like, I swear, I'll put I'm gonna an wake alarm up on and then I'll wake up like two hours later and be like, wow. No, that's definitely just your fault. You have to that figure that out. That happens to me once every like Okay, that months. was like a little bit homophobic. Let's calm down there. But only I could say it. So it's definitely your fault. Um, okay. Let's just wake up on time next time. I got you. How do you like- It's terrible. Your, I feel like your alarm clock's like- very music. It is not. <laughs> Nick's is, is actually not. so loud. What like, is it? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every single time I hear your alarm, like I have mine like a halfway point because I know it's going to wake me up like any noise. His is like full volume, like loud I'm afraid if it's not alarm. full volume, it's not going to go off. Like it's yeah. so loud. Like, I always have like, What are you like it. listening to, bitch? Like fucking heavy it's metal? Just, like, I think it's just what's there. <laughs> heavy like metal. it is loud, but it's like, like a heavy metal, metal alarm would be crazy. I could so see Nick just waking up and it's like, start up with a book of Ryan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, I actually like, would love like, that. 
I should do that. Nick has like custom like text tones and stuff. Like if yeah. I text him, it's like the yeah. Among Us like imposter noise. And I also oh, have you're, like you're the, the baddest. I have a bitch bunch of them. Like when I get texts, it's like fun little noises. Wait, what's mine? I don't know. I don't know. They like default. Wait, can to I things. make one? Can yeah, I? Like, we'll make we'll make one later because I have one for my friend. I have one for my friend Nathan. I recorded him. and It was really really funny and. I took like the audio clip and made it when he texts me. It's like him yelling at me to answer my phone. Oh, so is that, it really? That's just, like, yeah, they're like custom yeah. for like specific people. I don't know how I would even begin to do that. I feel like only 12 year olds do that. But oh, I, I enjoy it. it. Okay, how about your second song going to be us doing the idol song? I'm just, just a, a freak. Yeah. Okay, I got it. We'll take yeah, this no. audio clip right now. Well, we just did. Should we finish? It. It. Oh, can you get copyrighted on here? I don't think yeah. we'd sound that good I'm to get copyrighted. I think we'd sound amazing yeah. if we really put our hearts into that. You mm. know I want it bad. Boom, 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 boom. That song is gas. What's, what's your favorite gay anthem? I know you have like an us song that just like you're you're rainbow. <laughs> you're just. I feel like I rainbow. don't know. Oh my god! Actually, that, I do. I know. I know exactly what it is. I know which one yours is. It's I think. Man Eater. I was Nelly Furtado. Wait, also Melanie Martinez. No, how was the concert? We were going, I didn't we were go to the concert. concert. What? Yeah, I didn't go. I didn't. I never bought. Is it because I didn't go? It's just not because yes. you didn't go, but I didn't buy tickets, and I was just like, "Would you go?" Like, if you said you were gonna go, I would have one hundred percent bought tickets. But I was like we on the sh- fence of okay, going. Okay, honestly though, like she's probably top tier. Like, first of all, favorite song. Before we keep, well, should we should we stop talking about? Because no, y'all about have your moment. You're good. Favorite song. From honestly, Crybaby. the entire the entire Portals album has been like all I've been listening to this whole year. So Moon, unreal. What is it? Moon cycle. Yeah. She hits because like why is Melanie low key like spitting bars? No, like, she's she's like actually crazy. I love every she's like every single song on the album I could listen to. Like if I don't know what I'm gonna play, I'm gonna shuffle up that album and listen to that. Did you join when she was crybaby? So when my cousin Hannah initially was the one who like showed me who she was forever ago, and then I was listening to her and got bullied for it. Who bullied you? People it wasn't me. Uh, and let then me find it you was then. not me. Let and me then find you. I was like, okay, I'm done listening to that. And then Matt and Chris have influenced my music taste forever. Like I just listen to what they listen to. Uh huh. Because like you listen to Little Skies. Yes, because they like I love oh, Little Skies yes. too. And like I have a very different music taste for Matt and Chris. But because of like living with them and like it's not two against one because I don't mind listening to it. I've developed like such an unreal music taste because it's like the spectrum of like what I would put on versus like what they would put on, and then like everything in between. So I'm fine with literally anything playing. You should see Nick when Nardo Wick comes on. I like Nardo Wick. I love Nardo I Wick. Love, I He's love like all my music right because now. my music taste is so different from Matt Yeah, my, mine is exact like, same way because I grew up with straight people. So y'all just, when I go from listening to Ice Spice to listen to like, Bitch, we're we boss. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love it all. I can, I can do it all for sure. Like, I can listen to anything. Imagine just me and you with, like, glasses listening to, like, Nardo Wick. We should make a playlist like, that, like, purposely goes, like, craziest gay anthem. anthem. And then, like, goes like Ariana, trap like, song. <laughs> yeah, it has to be like New York insane. You never know what's going to happen. And then, like, three depressing songs in there as well. Oh, we would. Wait, do you cry? No. Period. Me I neither. haven't cried in, like, probably two years. Crying's for lame bitches. Well, me the crying last time yesterday. I cried. <laughs> when did I cry? Last I just, time? like, that's a great question. No, I actually did last cry time not cry. long ago, yeah. but I do cry, like, one every, once every, like, six months. I'm not a frequent choir, crier at all. Quiet. Quiet. I'm not a frequent quiet at all. When was the last time you cried? The last time I cried was, I think, our first, like, meet and greet thing ever. Because I, not because of the meet and greet, but I was in Texas. <laughs> and I'm... I was just like, I need to go home, bro. Like, I can't. Oh, we, so you're, like, he was, like, super stressed we were, out. Yeah, we were in Boston. Then we went to um, L.A. And then we went to Texas. And then we had all this shit going on. And then I cried over a Heath bar candy at night. Yeah, no, Chris was so upset. Yeah, like, I was eating the candy. Chris was, was so like, upset, and me and Maddie and him were the only ones awake, and me, Maddie, and Chris, like, surrounded a Heath bar, and he cried while we were eating a Heath what, bar collectively. It's, it's, it's like valid. the weirdest it's core valid. memory ever. Yeah. Real men cry. Chris crying over a Heath bar was yeah. crazy. But besides that, I don't you, remember the last I'm time I'm leaving that cried. question unanswered. <laughs> <laughs> valid. Wait, actually, you have a special place for my heart. You're the baddest bitch in the city. He said unanswered and put it. Unanswered. You're, and your nails. You have to do this, though. I feel like, I don't know. All right, we got, I'm going to go back to our content questions. We're oh, going wow. like, get on okay. track. Sorry. Get on <laughs> no, track. Okay, we all, like, we let ourselves flow. But now that you've been doing, like, YouTube and content for so long, what is, like, how would you explain that you've changed from, like, when you started to now? Because obviously, like, people well, change, like, uh-huh. naturally, the normal yeah. human thing. And it's, like, to be young, so young you start, and then you're growing up and growing in followers yeah. as it's going on. Yeah, so, and, like, developing as a human, like, under the eyes of like your viewers is always so hard 
So these like, questions are good. Walk Arrington, us through it. Yeah. Arrington talked to y'all, didn't he? Yes. No, for real. Um, so let's answer your question first. I feel like um, growing up as an adult, from obviously people finding me when I was 16 years old, mm -hmm. I feel like now that I have this mindset of just wanting to speak positivity and I believe in my words are so powerful that I can't go on Roblox anymore and cuss all of the kids. That is not what I want to <laughs> do. And it's just so negative. Because imagine like being like a random Roblox player and you go to watch your favorite YouTuber's videos and then he's cussing you out. I'm not trying to do that. So now for my Roblox videos, I um I stage them in a sense where I'll create the characters and I'll create the whole storyline and I'll like mm -hmm. I'll kind of talk shit to myself just because I don't want everybody's feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm sorry to break this to you, but all the Roblox videos have been staged from this year. Yeah. Pl yeah. But um now I think I just, staged is a negative word. Say like plan, plan, thought out. Well, kind of like if you think about like Minecraft um, strategic. Strategize. Yeah, it's like um exactly it's like robot chicken where it's like I'm trying to make it where it's like like Family Guy where mm. it's a storyline you have your characters mm -hmm. yeah and you guys will still get the same exact feeling as a normal Roblox video but this time I'm just not being an asshole to little kids yeah yeah I say be an asshole to little kids I think bullying is needed but um it's just hard when like a little girl comments on my video and she's like wait that was me. Oh, oh. And yeah. like, you're 12 years old. I just called you a dumb bitch. <laughs> we can't <laughs> that do that. Crazy. No, we can't do that, that is anymore. crazy. No, because our our fans tell us the same stuff. Where they like they get mad that we are like are like oh you changed or you're doing stuff different. But it's like there's some things that you started doing your content on, but that you literally cannot anymore. Like we can't go to the same parking lot we started filming at. We can't vlog as freely because of like privacy reasons. So. Some things have to grow and learn, and I feel like that's something the viewers like always have to learn. Adapt to. It's yeah. hard because I did go through a phase of people saying I changed when I was when I was in my phase of um, recognition, or mm -hmm. I don't want to say blowing up because that's yeah. just I hate the term blowing mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of people were just upset that I wasn't being as you know crazy as I used to be and just cursing all the time. And for mm -hmm. me, it's just like I just felt so negative. And when my videos last year, I was just in a very negative place. I like. Now, when I make videos, I try to at least end it off with a good positive message or either yeah. two, like I just try to keep it like as a minimum of like, let's not make them watch this video and then want to go be toxic and like be a dick mm -hmm. to their friends. Yeah, you know? 100%. Yeah. I want them to watch this video and laugh at jokes and I don't want to have to be mean to make people laugh. Yeah. yeah. But it's hard when you're going on me going, this straight guy's calling me like, Slips. Yeah. So yeah. Yes, I got to no. put a bitch in our place when I need to put a hundred percent. But it, some yeah, people deserve it. It's like some people that. do deserve yeah, it. Yeah. It's like just like balancing, like knowing what, when and where. Yeah. Time absolutely. and place. No, for like everything. even like play. with our videos, I swear all the time, like constantly. But then when we're in person, like doing like tour and I'm on a stage and I actually see everyone. I like I cannot swear. Yeah, because like, I, I'll, like, I go apologize to, swear. to the parents. And I like go yeah. to swear and I'll like, see my audience before my no, eyes. And I'm like, wow, it's no, so, I actually... it's like you feel like a bad person. No, for a little yeah, bit. no, no it's a little do. crazy. It was so crazy that I had like, oh my god, this encounter. I don't want to say it because it's so like it makes me want to throw up. But I just posted a TikTok, and the TikTok was me using the sound. Um, it was like waxed up booty hole, waxed down. It was sexy red. And then at VidCon, there's a little girl. And no, like Jojo Siwa's mother had like these group of little girls. Like they saw us, I think. Yeah. Yes. And I was like, these little girls watch this and probably like go go home and be like assed up, who do you hold like Yeah. That? I don't want that. So yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to limit that down a little bit. And it kinda like I get in the position of like I don't want to um overthink everything I post, but now I kinda I'm very conscious of what I do. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. And that's right. and that's another thing is like when me and Chris, like we swear a lot, but it's always like I'm never like like, with swearing so much, I feel like I'm never saying anything that's, like, actually malicious. You know what I mean? Like, I know that swearing I'm swearing a lot, like but a... I'm never saying anything that, like, someone would be, like, really, like, And it's different because we're siblings. Like, with these two, like, they're the most important people to me. So it's, like, and I know that I'm not going to be mad at Matt in, like, yeah. a day. Like, I can tell Chris so to I fuck could... himself right now. Correct. It's like, we'll and be not... fine in yeah. two minutes. Like, I can it's swear like... to them as harsh and as brutal as I want to because I know that, like, their relationship is going to remain the same. Like, like well, these, we these get girls, like, they'll watch our videos and go to, like, act with their friends or, like, go up to their yeah, mom no, and talk, yeah. we talk to each like other. Screaming like, screaming the way he screams yes, at you guys. Yeah, exactly. yeah, like, I scream in car videos and people expect me to, like, scream like that about every topic I ever speak <laughs> they just on. think you're the mad gay one. Yeah, but I'm like, no, this is, like, like, because it's, like, vamped up, you know what I yes. mean? Like, I mean everything I say, but it's, like, I'm not acting like that every moment like of you're just waking up because it's, like, a morning, you're like, fuck you, Chris. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I, and yeah. also, like, the way that me, Matt, and Chris speak to each other, I would never condone someone else to speak to someone they don't know like that i agree but yeah. also like knowing you guys and actually seeing how your relationship is i feel like y'all are like kind of like the only siblings that i've met that have a good relationship like this mm. it's a like lot of people it would be impossible fight. to do what we do if we had a bad relationship yeah yeah, yeah. oh my God. yeah i was actually gonna ask y'all like how do you even like 
actually wrote on questions for you guys. Can no I, way. Yeah, can I get one of my questions that I wrote? Of yes. course. <laughs> this is an um Let's see where she is. Also, Matt, I love you. Love you, gang. Like, I love you. He, like, he was, he just, I don't know where he goes, yeah, I just, what if I just said, Chris, fuck off? Like, you're a bad <laughs> oh. It happens. Okay, so. It does. Um, each of you have, wow, I'm kind. <laughs> yeah, he saw his own question and got oh, all happy. How do you guys keep reading about, like, individuality growing up together? Like, yeah. how are you guys so different? It's, it was really different for Nick being closeted and gay. So literally, he said, it sounds just, crazy, but it's so true. So, so true. So like, you for, ate that for for <laughs> me and Chris. Like, we enjoy a lot of like the same things. Obviously, there's some things that he's more passionate about than than me. But me and Chris growing up were like very like same sports, same music, all of that. And then so was our older brother. Yeah. And then Nick was kind of like, yeah, I'm all about like doing shit. Like, like I did a lot of things that I didn't necessarily super like enjoy doing, but I enjoyed being like with the people and like the experiences that came along with that. Like, I'll listen to music that I don't like if I'm like with a group of people that all want to. Or like, I used to play hockey and like go to hockey practice, and like wasn't my favorite thing. But like, I did enjoy hockey, so that's not the best example. But I played fucking baseball for my friend to be on a team with just my friends. Yeah. Like, like it was Matt and Chris and Nathan. And, like, we were in this friend group when we were younger, and I played baseball even though I hated baseball because it's, like, I wanted to hang out with my friends and my brothers. So I yeah. knew that, like, that's something I, like, had to yeah, do. Yeah, I feel but... like with Nick as well, like, we always had conversations about it, like, once we got, like, of the age that, like, we were all in the same, like, 15 or, like, the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Because, like, there was a lot of the times growing up where Nick would think that we're excluding him, but he just didn't like what we were all yeah. doing as yeah. a group. Like, me and Matt would play lacrosse, hockey like sports listen to this type of music and nick always thought that we were leaving him out just because he didn't like enjoy it as, sports and stuff as much as and we... also like to actually i don't even think we answered the question you actually asked but to, no I, but i needed this i feel like we all need like, the context behind yeah, it yeah but so, like yeah. i feel like we've never i at least me personally i've never felt more individual than i have like this year and this past yeah. year which is crazy because we're doing more and more together yeah. But I think doing so much together and, like, in the public eye, like, vlogs, car videos, everything, and, like, living together, it's made me realize, like, how different we all are as well. So it's, like, right now, like, literally today, I've never felt more individual than I have, like, with Matt and Chris. And I know we really haven't, like, done anything on that yet, but I feel like, or, like, on the internet at least, like, people just see us doing shit as, like, a group. But I feel like right now is kind of like a. I feel a turning. No, but point. yeah, like like your question, like how we stayed individual growing up. I really don't think we did a good job of it, but we didn't care. I think we just yeah. all like, had like our own. I think we all had our own little personality traits, and then like whatever we just knew. Okay, he's passionate about that. He's passionate about that. He's passionate about that. I mean, they just kind of like yeah. But like growing up, we had like all the same friends, all the same. We did all the same shit. Like mm -hmm. I feel like we didn't start exploring what we like individually till like the last couple years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I will say like after hearing about your passions and knowing what you guys all individually like, I can tell you exactly like verbatim how different you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you For were to sure. ask me as your friend, I can literally be like, okay, like he likes to talk about mental health. I'll you, you want to do your um, fashion clothing, and then you, you're, you're in your artist shit. Mm hmm Y'all are different as well. Yeah, like, are also different. Different. You're you're very like, different. Yeah. And, it, and the dynamic is actually so perfect. Yeah. Like, this, like, everything y'all bring to the table makes so much sense. Yeah. It's like, we all- It's so crazy. It's also like, we all have, like, I'm obviously more passionate about mental health shit, and then Chris is more passionate about rap shit, but then I'll, like, I love the rap shit that Chris is doing. And then, like, if he needs mental health shit or, like, needs to talk to people, like, obviously, like, I'll talk to him about shit. But, like, I feel like a cool experience for me was, like, Chris, is, Chris wanted to go to Sh Summer Smash Chicago, all that stuff. He went on stage with Skies and all that stuff. And, like, me being there, almost, like, in the background, but just, like, being there and getting to, like, experience that with Chris, like, it's way more important to him than it was me, but I still had, like, the time of my life yeah. on that trip because I also, like, got to experience that stuff because chris is doing what he wants to do yeah it was crazy That's too. So nice. it was a lot of fun i have a question for you that like goes with what we we're just talking about but it's like with being triplets me and chris and content aside we're extremely extremely close to each other who would you say is like the closest people to you in your life like your chosen family and family oh my god um i would say right now errington um, yeah but it, it's isa errington and just greg too mm -hmm. i feel like those three people you know, maybe emotional bitch <laughs> um they just really keep me like grounded mm -hmm. and it's hard to like find friends in this space we we've talked about it we've had yeah. conversations and i think like 
I, I would say just Arrington, honestly. I don't I don't think I've met somebody that Arrington can like... Arrington won't fuck up and you're off the list. I know, just won't fuck up and we'll be here with them. <laughs> um, but it's just like, I don't know. I, I hate the conversation because it makes me emotional. It does. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. I, I went through so many shitty friendships to finally mm-hmm. realize where I have to be now. Mm-hmm. And now that I finally found somebody that cares and loves for me and like wants to see me succeed, I'm just like... I mean, I feel I'm, like I'm the I'm most rooting. important thing to do is find who actually genuinely cares for you and keep the roster small. Like fully. I've said that's for years. Like having three friends that actually truly care about you and your journey rather than a million that kind of half ass care is way more important. Yeah, because it's nice to have a large friend group, but I think the more friends you have is the more problems mm-hmm. and the more people are friending your downfall. Mm-hmm. And protect your energy, first of all. Mm-hmm. That's that's really important. Because you don't know what these people yep. have it out for you. They can be jealous, they can be envious and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So like why well, don't know? Keeping it keeping it very limited is just like the move. Yeah. It really but is. it's like I also say too, like for me, like I barely have enough time to put effort into myself and my job and like what I do. Like I don't have a time for like a million pretending to friends. care about yeah. fake friends. You know what yeah. I mean? Like having a friendship takes so much energy if it actually has value to you. And it's like I only have energy in my body for friendships of value. Yeah. You, you know? know, even like with Nick and Matt being my brothers, like I think my friend standards are way higher because I like agree. because of how close I am with Nick and Matt as like a brother relationship and I'm with them every day. When I meet people, they have to meet, like, not the expectations of my brother, because no one will, but they have to at least be, like, because, oh, I don't definitely, know, they help definitely. me, like, navigate who's actually good people. Yeah, and also, like, there's just so many, like, things that I've learned recently about, like, um, just, like, learning how to, like, how do I like to be loved and mm-hmm. how um, I should allow people to treat me or talk to me. Mm-hmm. Because there's, like, friends out there that you would have that would say jokes that would be, like, very, very hurtful, and they would mm-hmm. cover it and, been, like, oh, this is just a joke or no, but it's, yeah. You know, your self-conscious, your self-conscious brain can't understand sarcasm. So mm-hmm. the things they're saying is, like, actually how they feel about you. Yeah. yeah. And I did not realize that until recently. And trust me, now I feel so much better. And my confidence has boosted so much more because I set the tone and I set my boundaries. And I don't let nobody talk to me in a happy way. And it's like, bro, you have to have friends that aren't going to, like, that are going to come to you if they bother you as well. Like, yeah. one of the best things that I, like, love is everyone that I'm friends with right now, if I if they are upset with me because of something, they're going to come and tell me, and then I'm going to live and learn from it. Like, I hate friends that you can't, like, that you can't address, like, if they did something that yeah. bothers you. But And I've also said, like, all fr- every friendship I've ever had in my life that's lasted a really long amount of time, I've literally never, ever been in more than, like, one fight with. Like, I've never been in a fight with, like, a friend that, like, and if I've been in one fight with a friend that I'm not friends with anymore, that was the friend, that was the fight that ended our friendship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's, like, I don't think I've ever had friendships fighting with friends. Yeah. Get over it. Like, fighting, like, weekly is, like, unreal. And, like, like, I'm talking, like, bad fights and you guys are fine the next day. That's not normal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, like, okay, guys. Let's put it out. The only people that fight often in my life is me and Matt and Chris like because we do so you much together brothers. we have to you, you know also I mean? live together too it's like we we can fight one day and then the next day we're planning like in 40 years like wh- who's gonna be my neighbor on my left like which one of y'all so, so like, it's like yeah your friendship but your y'all friendship also is randomly endless. swing on Nick sometimes he does so swing a should. lot yeah stuff like that is like it's just Nick's so hittable I feel like I know just, yeah that's crazy what do you mean by that like sometimes when he's there it's just like no, I'm sorry, I'm thinking yeah. of Should I handle like yeah. this? Yeah. Do I need to handle shoulders this out. It's it is like, wild, If y'all bully Nick, you're bullying me, and I want um, to jump in. It is wild. And we don't want to do that, okay? It's wild. I don't. It's, it's, like, unreal how often Matt will, like, or Chris will walk by me and just, like, touch me. But I also do it to Chris, too. So. The pinching needs to stop. No. That's him. Like Chris that's him. Earlier, he needs like, to stop the pinching. He's like a crab. It's <laughs> unreal. Like, Chris, like, his go-to thing is pinching. Like, he gets mad if you, like, do anything about it. Well, I don't are you, know if, is he, it if a I like walk, mechanism. If I walk by Nick and he's standing like like this, I gotta punch his arm or something. Okay, which like, is like I get it, but pinching is crazy. No, pinching. I'm tired of the nipple grabs through the shirt. <laughs> You're one of those. <laughs> yes, like it's not even like a titty twist. It's just like a light. Graze. <laughs> okay, like it's like a graze or like a firm little like touch grasp, like something. Like oh, uh, they can't leave my titties alone. It's unreal. <laughs> they, well, okay, don't, yeah. I, don't drag Matt, me into this. Matt. No, it is kind of me. It is kind of that is no, it is not me. No, it's not Matt as often as it is Chris. But like, if Never. Chris does it and Matt's with Chris, like Matt will do no, it right after. You're of a titty grabber. No. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. I'm not. See, listen. If you start grabbing my titties, I'm gonna have to fight you. No. I won't. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> no, it's. I, just, I won't. I won't. As of now, give us like six months more of friendship and we're oh, closer. If like, we're six months in, and I'm just chilling. I just feel somebody grabbing grab my the titties. Nibble, no, oh, yeah, it's all about like oh. comfortability too. Like Chris knows, like he would never do the things I'm he does to, to just, a stranger. Titty grabbing, bro. Yeah, it's just me. Like I'm the only victim right <laughs> you now. You are currently the yeah. only. 
Wait, yeah. like the grab when pins are gonna grab in titties, Chris? <laughs> it's is this wild. who we are? Like, yeah, is this who we're crazy? Okay? Oh my god. I guess so. Uh, oh my gosh. We are. These are some coping mechanisms we need to talk about. <laughs> Literally. We'll have an intervention. Can, you, after um, this. can we talk about your last video, um, Maddie Poo? Yes. It was so good. Thanks. How did that make you feel after? Um it was it was good. Aaron? I think a lot of our fans, like obviously, I said I don't like being edited to Taylor Swift, and then a lot I of just our saw fans, that on my TikTok. They today. took the sarcasm of it and just started editing me to Taylor Swift, so that was hilarious. But um, no, I'm very happy with doing that video because I feel like that video is gonna be like uh, a stepping stone into what like I actually want to start doing. So I'm excited to do all that good. stuff. It was actually good. I, like, yeah, I I texted you about it, and I was yes. like shocked at how like. Your words are so powerful, mm -hmm. and just like you're the way you like speak about things is just not only relatable, but it actually helps. Like, I yeah, learned, I learned a lot yeah. just from watching that. I it took me like thirty tries too. So really, just, yeah, because it's like sometimes I like this is why I started like writing a lot of stuff instead because I feel like when I'm talking about stuff, I don't really get my point across. And another reason why I was going to do like the voiceover stuff instead of like videos of me talking. Is because when I do a voiceover with like different things being filmed in the background, it kind of makes the it forces the people that are watching it to like actually listen to what I'm saying rather than like looking at me and stuff like that. So I feel like with like writing stuff like that and people reading it, there's no distraction other than the words and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's I mean, what I'm also like I feel too. like even to just like speaking on the camera being vulnerable is mm -hmm. so awkward. Yeah, so it like is. even like even us talking sometimes mm -hmm. like I know like how uncomfortable it could be to be super duper emotional and vulnerable mm -hmm. for thousands of hundreds of million people to watch even to like we're talking to each yeah. other about mm -hmm. it so like i'm proud of you for doing that like, thank actually, you because uh when i filmed my video of being sad yeah and i i did like ew it's so gross yeah I'm, like, <laughs> and, posting that and shit. it's also like i don't want to ever i don't want to ever be seen crying on a camera or anything on the internet because i already know like our fans will take that clip of me crying and be like oh my god my fresh love package has been in there for <laughs> four weeks and i still don't have it and it's gonna be like me crying like mood and it's like i don't need like you don't need to be just just me crying about you complaining about our shipping you know what i mean like, <laughs> yeah, i don't, don't want to give them ammo for anything even like though that. our shipping will get better like yes. blanket statement I'm shipping bad there. shipping's not the best but you're canceled it's, we're it's, working it's, on it. it's definitely going to get better but it's crazy, like, the amount of shit that we sell. Like, we have a lot of people who are buying stuff. Like, obviously, like, God's not handing us fresh love shirts that they need to be made. Like, it takes a while, but, you Why know. are you guys referring to my brand? I don't know. I just thought it was fun. No, like, like yeah, we're gonna... It was shipping to me. Where are you my merch at? You gave Arrington some. I didn't give you some? You didn't grab it. I'm calling you out. Oh, wait. You gave me out. Hold on. That's crazy. You're all there we We closed, but we ain't that No, that is true. I'll get you some. I will. You, I feel like you're a baddie. Like actually, <laughs> you like, ain't grabbing. You're a badass bitch. Like so funny. All right, I'm moving us on. Okay. Oh, lighthearted, simple question time. That's what we have. We have a bunch of just lighthearted, fun okay. little questions. I'm sorry. I no, will continue good. bringing back the deep shit because I want. Like I'm actually here to pick your brains and get. Oh set. yeah, of course. Because we talk deep. Y'all don't know, but we be talking. Y'all mm -hmm. see. Y'all think course. this is just the first link up. Uh, we link up it is before. crazy how many times we've like met that the fans just like don't know about. Yeah, and that's and, okay. That's fine. Y'all know beautiful. what we're gonna talk about. Y'all don't know mm -hmm. who we talk about because when we talk, we talk. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's like we we're not the there FBI. With like it's, just, it's like a we're just in a circle. We're just like, <laughs> wow, say that's on, crazy. To us, <laughs> plotting. No, but okay. First question: With your job and opportunities you've had, what's one of the favorite places you got to visit? Or uh, um, I would say, I would say Fiji. Fiji was really? like the best trip of my life, and I went with like great friends. Mm -hmm. And it was like one of those shifts. I was like, wow, this is like my life. Because I still can't believe that I get to wake up and do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. for real. It's so weird. I, I think one of the best things you like, like just traveling in general is like amazing. Like, like being able to like places. make that content is insane. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's like, like we'll be in Palm Springs and we'll just like vlog it. And it's like, holy shit, like this, I can vlog this and like be mm -hmm. here. Like that's insane. That and also I think it's just like we've all seen people do it. Yeah. And now that we're doing it, we're like, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also... I feel like we're very similar. We don't go out often. Like yeah. I don't leave my house, so like yeah. I don't really get to like see my impact until I go to events or like mm -hmm. until I, I'm in like at the mall. Yep. So like I, I it's just... even like Fiji. Like in my eyes, Fiji's. I have no desire to go to Fiji like it, or at all. But like the fact that you even grazed Fiji is insane. You and know for yeah. free. Yeah. What? Hello. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't care how much money I get. If you're giving me a free thing, I will take it. Yes. I'm I so agree. sorry. And that's like, just even me like, like it's like. 
it, on our tour, I've been in places that I've never expected to be at, and it's like I've literally yeah, like, loved Oklahoma it so much. Oklahoma was randomly lit. Like I enjoyed being it was in so Oklahoma. Oklahoma was yeah, it's like lit. we've been to Oklahoma. Wait, like, like you in no, Oklahoma? You're just yeah. Like, <laughs> like I have no desire previously to go to Oklahoma, and then I did. But it's have like fun. I wasn't mad. First that of all, I was where's there at Oklahoma? All. It's near it's the Penn State. Yeah, it's near. She's Philly. above Texas. War? Actually, oh. fun fact. She, oh no, because I know this. I know this because I've done my my history classes. I loved history class. I paid attention, but <laughs> literally back then, like literally, it was wild. They were like doing like the laws. This is so random, but since you asked, I can talk about it. They did the laws, and it was like uh, there was like a longitude and latitude line across the U.S., and they were like no one below here or no. No one above here can have slaves anymore. Like it was during slavery, and and Texas was like, okay, well, we still want slaves, and just gave Oklahoma that part of the land. So that's why Oklahoma is shaped like a pan, is because like, if that way part of back Texas when, was, if if yeah. Texas still had that land, I don't think any of Texas or even maybe just that part could like have slaves anymore. So they were like, okay, Oklahoma, go off. So yeah, Oklahoma wait, basically first of all, ate. let's just get rid of Oklahoma. Yeah. Well, how no, about that? Well, no, the, the Oklahoma was the Oklahoma good part. was the good part. Texas was the bad how part. How about we get rid of all of them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. Go all. Okay, so Texas is the one. Okay, got it. Yeah. But yeah. that's a crazy that fun fact, That makes sense because it's Texas. Are we surprised? Yeah. Not saying all, all. Texas. Wait, I, are you getting scared no, that Texas is going to no, cancel me? This is like true, though, because when we were, we had two of our friends on the tour with us, and they're both black. So it's like we were just like going through that place and at some point they searched up like what is the population of like black people in the city of texas that we were in and they literally didn't go into the gas station that we went to at like three in the morning because it was only like they were like the 252nd and 253rd like black people in that city and what? it's like yeah like, like it's just scary. it is scary because like you never know especially yeah. like it's, it's, and, so it's just traveling so in general like you never like the world is so different everywhere you yeah. go. Yeah. Like you never and really we're such know. a diverse tour bus. Like every yeah. tour bus is a different it's crazy some is crazy. Some of the but parts like some states just haven't developed yet. Yeah. 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 Know, some of them are still living like we're in nineteen thirty six. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's wild. Just get hip. Like get hip. Listen to Ariana Grande. Literally. Quit. Boom. Like get on the ice in spice my head league. immediately. Right now. Have you not heard Ice Spice? Ah. Uh, have you not heard of Princess Diana? Like Ice Spice dropped last Friday. And you're still listening like, to like the Dixie Chicks. What do we do? I don't even know what I You don't know the Dixie Chicks? I do, but like I know what you just said, but I haven't I can't picture a song. I couldn't sell you a single song by the Dixie Chicks. I just knew like white people love it. So here we are. How white are you? I don't know. How white are y'all? Fifty percent Portuguese. Fifty percent fifty percent Portuguese, twenty five Irish, twenty five Italian. Okay. So white. Yeah. All right. Just yeah. as white as it get. But like there's like a little different white about it. especially you. Let's bro, I, got you got a little, I, I think it's text you about it. I said you got a little ugh in you. What is that I think it's the music that gives you like that ugh. Yeah. It is. And then you you I don't got know something what it is, like, honestly. It's because I'm gay. Thank God. Okay, that I was gonna yeah. say because you have good style, but we can go with being gay. No, literally I love it. I thank God every day that I'm that you're gay. gay. No, I'm happy you're gay. I'm happy you're the gay one. I am if you happy was the gay I'm one, gay. I feel like would have been like as cool. Like I feel like you're you good. You thought one. I was the gay one, so that is so sorry. <laughs> you make you do you're like the fucking triplet. Well, that just means my fit was good that day, so that's fine. Literally, literally. You no, that's what that's how I know I got a good fit. If someone's like, You look bad or you look gay, I'm like, damn, I look well, great then. About the time this is out, the video I wanted to with me and Aaron start thinking about videos. And I was like, what should we do? And he's like, style swap. And I was like, we can't swap style when we all dress kind of the same. But I would wear this. I definitely wear that. This we could work on. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I, I wanted to be comfortable. I was going to put jeans, but I'm like, I'm not going to film a podcast in jeans. True. Like, I'll change yeah. What we shoes leave. are those? They're just Air Force Ones. Wait, what are the black, the, I think they're black Air Force Ones. Like yeah. Like the scary ones. Yeah. That people... But these aren't like the typical black no, Air Force Ones. No, I know what you're talking these about, are different. like. But like Nick owns the scary black Air Force ones. And I he love would them. beat a bitch up, right? It's because yeah. like before I bought like black boots and I was like, I need black the shoes. The black Air Force ones. I needed I, black shoes like immediately. I, I want to get the yeah. all black Jordans, but they're so expensive. Wait, the which, Jordan 4s, black hats, they're like $900. Our Doc Ward is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I bet you so cool. Do you like Jordans at all or like shoes or anything? I like, um, I like. Dude, like all his entire shoe closet, mm -hmm. I'm shocked. I didn't know I'll ever find shoes like that are sneakers that I would actually like want to wear mm -hmm. the naked wolf shoes are so sick. yeah those I are love naked those are really, really cool what are like the are in like um the air door uh, air jordans yeah one of the things like for like ten thousand dollars no there's so many the jordan the jordan catalog is insane there's like so colorways many and shit like, and there's like jordan ones twos threes fours like it goes up and up and up like but which one was the shoe that everyone was like oh my god oh air dior yeah, yeah. those were like how much was that like those like, were like 
Insane. Ridiculous. Insane I don't know how much they drive. I can't even begin to add to this conversation. Like, I don't know anything. It's a... I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> no, like resellers and stuff like that is just like like people will buy all the shoes for like the two hundred dollars that they normally are, and then just like the, still have all of them, and then like since there's such like a limited amount, yeah, they, they resell like crazy. Well, I feel so like, why are we TikTok buying shoes also that blew much? up like Jordan ones. Like yeah. they were they were popular for who they were popular at first, but then once TikTok hit it, then everyone was buying yeah. Jordan ones. Like, like literally. Wait. Like shoe stuff, yes. shoe stuff like I that just want is, you to feel it here, but I don't you know. know. If I showed you a Jordan you should, one, you would like totally. They all look the same too, but just in different colors. No, that that's Chris. I'm sorry. I'll I'm sh- not. I'm showing I'm you. Not hip. I'm giving you knowledge. Of like, like, shit. The, shoe, like, like, the whole shoe term. thing is like a whole category. Can we talk YouTube? about pixie like, shit again? I know. I need to like ask me about Ice Spice. Seriously, like, ask us about Melanie Martinez right now. Yeah. <laughs> ask me about anything else. But so you okay? Back to what you were saying. They're Jordans, right? Would you ever buy those? Quickly. The, the Dior the one? Dior ones. Never. How much Why? are they? Like ten thousand dollars. Like yeah, two hundred. Really like more. Like I feel like a lot more. The people who are buying the that. people that like care about like the crazy expensive shoes like that and like all these people that are like oh big in the shoe community they'll buy those expensive shoes just to say that they have them and then not wear them. The so thing it's like, is though, like with so it's like at some point like I'm trying to like gather. I'm like, like I would never. At some okay, point, though, like, let me explain this snack really quick. So literally, girl, if they buy <laughs> shoes and they're super expensive, they put them in a box. Yeah, and then they don't <laughs> get them. Okay, they really let them collect. The thing up. is though, like sometimes <laughs> right. shoes shoes up that are so expensive could literally be like an investment because if you buy shoes, but why? It's like buy a apartment and yeah. rent it out. No, it is true. But and if you also spend a lot of money on shoes and then like say they go up in value mm-hmm. and you sell them, it's literally like yeah, like, same with everything. Rare. Like buy comics. Yeah. Buy Funko sure. Pops. Shoes within itself is a totally like it's a yeah, full, I bet you it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing full, about it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It go off. People can people, have some their people, hobbies. Some and people's interest. whole career are just off like flipping shoes. Yep. And like making videos about it. Where are they? I actually do that. No, there's community? legit like I've watched YouTube videos like because back like in high school and shit, I love shoes. Like mm-hmm. and I would watch all the videos. There's people like that literally have a YouTube channel. Like I over- actually do it. Like like, I flip <laughs> shoes. Just, yeah. Shut up, Nick. Just second channel. You're, like, yeah. unboxing shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I just use a voice modulator. Like, check the bottom. I was like, hey, guys, check out these big shoes. I'm going to sell them for you. Is that your man you. boy? Yeah. Wait, Chris, you had a, do you have a shoe collection? I mean, not, like, crazy. Don't feel worried about it. If that's your shit, pop your shit. But I got a couple. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got, got a couple. couple. You're a badass No, bitch. I probably got a lot actually but i i still oh, have so like, went from a couple yeah. to a lot yeah, I, I still know, have, get, I still have shoes that i've owned since like freshman year yeah because i've been the same shoe size for a couple years now so i have like i i hate throwing shoes away it makes me feel like that's pretty bad i've become like, a stupid. new balance guy no, i wear new shoes i wear shoes until my it. toes are dragging on the cement <laughs> like i will not throw away shoes okay until the they're thing like, is i'm like one of those guys that buys shoes that's not back five years five years we don't admit to that Dude, that's a, you, that's have a gay to see, you have to see the shoes I threw away today. They're in the trash. Oh, did so. your shoes get like the bottom of the sole came out? Mm-hmm. The, oh, they're, my toes are They're out. platforms and like the platform is off. It's, so it's, it's just because this. we rage and bitch. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> I was just like, I just walk <laughs> crooked, honestly. That's what it is for me. My shoes I just drag my apart. heels. You walk crooked is crazy. I do. Like, I'll drag my feet, I like, bend my feet weird. So, so like, my let's shoes say are falling apart. You and your brothers are walking. Are you the type to, like, bump it to them a little bit? Yes. A lot. It's All okay. Time. I, I hear you because I'm the same. Yeah. Yeah. I always say that he has two left feet. Like, that's how he yeah. walks. That's, yeah. It could be that. Or are you pigeon toed? We'll have to check. What, that, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to get back to like when you like my sister's been in toes. She stands like you know what I mean. They'll be like this. Uh huh. She stands like that, but like <laughs> yeah, she's stuck. I thought is if I walk, if I walk fast, it re- eliminates the bumping into people on my sides. Well, I don't. So it's like my like, speed kind of takes also, away though, like my like current status. I'm not sure what it is, but a couple years ago, Nick had a a foot that was bigger than the other one. Yeah, I just really? shot for yeah. my left foot. Oh my I think. god. God. Like one of his Wait, shoes would be co- way too big. It's like big. a half size bigger. He what? Like he would have to buy like a nine and a half, and the other ni- size nine's like suffering in the be big for real. Shoe. You for fake? Are you like, actually one hundred percent? Dead for serious. <laughs> I'll put them next to each other. I have a video from years confirm? ago. I can confirm. This is like, true. If I match my heels, I'm <laughs> like, you know Wait. Dorothy. Like when she's no place like home, no, and she's not Dorothy. Feet together. I've put my ankles together and put my like i've tried because like, i'm like i want to debunk this if it's not true i need to know what size wow, i am oh that's but i crazy. genuinely would go like this and then go like that and one of my said, feet i don't know wait so you need present status i don't i don't know current <laughs> wait, status so i don't really know one big, what if it was just one big toe i don't think the whole foot was bigger no but would that not mean that the foot's bigger 
damn bitch you ate me up <laughs> like you know it's like you, you cleared like, me you like got the me toes good. bigger the foot's bigger that's true the bigger the foot the bigger the how what toe the bigger, foot, <laughs> no, the bigger the, <laughs> the, the, bigger the toe. toe there we go yep. wow i'm so like happy that you shared that with us do they know this they do they now might. They, do. <laughs> they might they might oh my god i don't know You're, you got a, like a lot of like hidden talents like party tricks like you're blonde, you have one big toe. Oh, you're gay. Yes, like, <laughs> yes. Like you got so much. Well, you're giving you. away all of my fun little parties. <laughs> oh, I know. Secrets. Oh my god, delete this all. Everything. Delete the whole episode. <laughs> okay, another random question. I don't know why I just clapped. <laughs> <laughs> who? <laughs> okay. Who is someone you're dying to meet that you haven't met yet? Or if dead there or is alive? Anyone? Um, alive, alive. Yep. You could meet them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say. I feel like I would have such a lit time with like Michelle Obama. Mm. I agree. Oh, Michelle Obama's no, kind of bad. I actually have to with her because she took away chocolate milk in school. Thank you. No. I never agree. <laughs> that would be so bad. I saw a video no. of Barack Obama today mm -hmm. and had this thought. So this is wild. Well, his music thing just We're came here. Because, yeah, I saw Barack Obama. I was you know like, how I he like met Barack Obama? No, 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 no. no, no. You know oh. how he like. <laughs> no, I saw him on my phone. And I was you know like, how he like, Barack. Posts, like, this is like my summer songs. Uh huh. He had ice spice yeah. on there. He like just posted it. Yep. Yeah. I love. <laughs> I didn't even do that. Obama. I should. We should do a summer. Like, well, y'all should do that as a collective. Like, Let's just all four like do. So it. you like a yeah. playlist, like our current our songs. I need you Barack can do Obama that. in that, the podcast. Bro, you need what Michelle you, and Barack. Yeah. Who are your top three music artists right now? Ice Spice, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, I love Gracie Abrams, Gracie, and then I would have to obviously say. Nikki, because Nikki just she's like not going away, and she's mother. Yep, it's she like if will. you gotta get Pink the God Friday. feature. Pink Friday, Pink Friday two is Wait, what out. Is it? Stupid fucking dinosaur! Or get the that's her. Yes. Yes. yes, I did not know that was her. Nicki Minaj, so she's also I that other that. viral clip from RuPaul's Drag Race. She said, "I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup today." Wait, have you seen that the one? Is so oh. funny. She's a she's a mammoth, of course. Yes, <laughs> she, she you know she voice acted the mammoth in Ice Age. Crazy, no. right? You're yeah. gagged. So I have to go rewatch really it. This is all new. I think not know a woman of many talents. I think we need to like educate them really quick. I saw her recently on an Instagram live with um Kai Sinet. Do you know Kai? Mm -hmm. Twitch streamer. He's oh my god, it's the funniest thing ever. Wait, with Nikki? Yeah. Oh, he wait, did what did she full, say? Like, she was saying something. To like, him. dude, they got very descriptive on certain about, topics. Yeah, yeah, we can't talk about, and that we don't even we don't even do those things in real life. I can't wait to go to church with like you guys. Church. church, church, dude. My mom just—you got another bonus point for my mom if she's really? watching this. Yeah. Wait, Arrington, he needs to take us. No, he yeah, for I'm real. Down. Let's he go to church. He always talks about going to church on Sunday, but never leaves the house. We'll on like, Sunday. we'll like go on vacations, and my mom will like go to like the churches and like the really, yeah. yeah. Like if we're like, like in a random place, she's at like a church in so many different states. Oh my god! Speaking of church, you guys want to hear a funny story? They got me in trouble at church. Um, so uh, this was during my like Vine days, and I went to um church you know when they do communion with like the little the little thing i posted a vine and i put in the background of me taking like the communion and i put shot 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 <laughs> yeah that i got my ass like yeah i was grounded yeah, yeah i don't want to say what really happened but i was my mom, my mom was my mom just your me. mom mad or the viewers of the video as oh, well the whole church was mad yeah, yeah. Oh. i think i wasn't even allowed to I go mean, back yeah, I would be yeah, mad too. So that like, happen. Shout out to my child. I'm sorry for doing that, y'all. It was it's just... one of those like intrusive thoughts that you have, but like if you put on the internet, people can like weigh their opinion. You know, like I'd oh, have an intrusive yeah. thought like at church, like doing what you did. I, I was think 16. That, but I don't think I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But why did they did? Okay, let's stop. Like on super what religious people would. Do <laughs> oh, this is some crazy stuff. Changing the subject. Um, okay. When, what's your next lovely topic? Um, what are three qualities you look for when meeting new people? Oh my God, you are Arrington. Yeah. Oh. Um, three qualities I will, uh, what are three qualities now? I would say definitely like the way you talk and just like eye contact and all that stuff. And, um, then I would see how you talk about others. Like if you like are, yeah, if you're talking about your best friend and you're saying negative things about her, I'm like, what would you say about me? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then it would also be, I'm not a fan of people like now I don't like being around people who are negative. Yeah. So like if you're like going around talking <laughs> about like, oh, I hope I get hit by a bus. Mm. I'm like, we have to like really like change that because yeah, things the craziest, craziest things have been thing happening to me because of, I like I told you, my words are so powerful and mm -hmm. I've been speaking a lot of things into existence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like recently, every time like me and Aaron are talking, like I was like talking about Madison and then boom, she texted me immediately. Mm -hmm. and yeah, today I was talking about our friend Ty mm -hmm. and then boom, he FaceTimed me as soon as I said his name. Yeah, everything's like I'm like 
I'm I like, never really believed that like speaking things into existence until our YouTube career happened because like that's the only thing in my life that I was like for sure like I would tell people I'm a YouTuber before we even made money off of it and then once that happened like I actually realized like damn you can like whatever you just believe is happening will happen yeah I have to chill on the negativity like I regularly say I'm gonna kill myself I had a problem with that yesterday yeah yeah I, I yeah I'm Arrington was looking at me like this yeah, like it's like way was, too regular. My, but I know I shouldn't say it, but it's like way too regular. But also, it's like, so yeah, hard man. not to say it. Yeah, because like sometimes you're like, "Fuck, I do want to kill myself," but like I'm not I gonna never, do it. Yeah, I, I have never the say to do it, like it. the actual intent or goal or thought that that would be something that I would do. You know what I mean? And it's like such a serious topic that I don't like that I yeah. use it. So I feel regularly. like we should both take it out of our vocabulary together. Yeah, so let's do it right That's, now from this moment. How on. about this? Every time we say it, you have to spray us with a water bottle. I would. If you I buy the water Nick bottle, I'll do it. it so. Good, good. Do you have a water bottle or no? Do I have a water bottle? Do you have it? The bottle? Should I get it now? Just like, use that I feel like if you cup. want us to stop, just, what do you, you want to spray, spray me right bottle? now? <laughs> just, yeah, I'll just dump it on you guys. Or, Next uh, question. Oh. No, what were you going to no, say? No, no, you, you speak. What were you going to say? Let me ask it. Matt, do your big one. Uh, I, th- or I think this we wrote this question now, but I think we already took care of it. It says, besides what you post and what people already know you for, what are other passions? But you already said um, Valorant. Valorant? Yes. Is that a passion, though? Yeah, that it, isn't really a passion. Or a what passion. are like things like your viewers would see you do that like you want to take more seriously, in a sense? Uh, I would say mental health. I feel mm. like I was so uh, ignorant about it because um, I grew up in a black household. So if you tell your mom that you're depressed, she's like, it's because I damn fell. So yeah. now realizing like the things that you struggle with and, you know, taking, you know, the time to like learn about it. I've learned so many things about myself and now I'm 10 times higher than I've ever been. And yeah, I feel like that I want to talk about more because I was so, yeah, I, you know, I never struggled with depression really as like a kid. So like mm-hmm. now as an adult and going through things, I'm like, wow, you know, sometimes the thoughts be loud. Yeah. Or my anxiety, I have really bad anxiety. And I yep. didn't know I was like, yeah, last night I didn't know uh, how it was an- anxious. Is that what it is? Anxious? I was anxious. Yeah. And Arrington told me like, oh yeah, you definitely aren't. Like, what is that? Like, what is that? And he explained it to me when I took time to like go be my myself in my room and chill out. And I was so much more fine. But yeah, I, I, I learned so much about it. So I think just mental health. You know, me cry. But yeah, I just thought, and I, that's why I appreciate your content. Like, yeah. Your content. Well, I had, I had the fun time of learning about that when I was like in like 2015. So I already like, I feel like a lot of people actually ask why, like, oh, why don't you, like, smoke weed and stuff like that? Because, like, smoking weed helps with anxiety and all that stuff. But I feel like, like, my anxiety starting at such a young age kind of made it so that it's, like, I'm, it, obviously it sucked, but I'm grateful it happened because, like, I already know what helps me out at the age of 19 years old, like, about to be 20. So it's, like, I can, like, and I, my friend was, like, oh, you should smoke weed because then that was, like, it, like, calms you down and stuff like that. But it's, like, I... Have, have like already figured out so many different ways to cope without using any like drugs or anything like that. So it's like I'm not gonna start doing that now. Proudy. Like I, I, feel I don't like think I'm, you need to like find yeah. a substance to like even cope with that. Because then even stuff. if you do, even if you are doing drugs and stuff like that to get rid of how you're feeling and stuff like that, the second you're sober again, it's gonna come back. So it's like you need to. It's something that you need to actually figure out. Personally, I also feel like that. anxiety is just a bigger label for everything that like everybody in this world. Like people are, oh, you have anxiety, like whatever your lame as shit. Some people like think it's like corny to like talk about anxiety and stuff. But at the end of the day, everybody has things like anxiety is just this. The it's a bigger, spectrum. It it's can the be bigger like, term for like stuff that like makes you overwhelmed or makes yeah, you nervous. For it. Like yeah. everyone has People anxiety. hear the word anxiety and they think like, oh my the God, most dramatic you're, thing you're in ever. the fetal position rolling around well, That's also floor. just like, I think TikTok and like just yeah. kind of Gen Z using that word so loosely and not knowing yeah. what it means. Yeah. Because yeah. I used to even two back in my videos, I was like, oh my God, I'm having an anxiety attack not knowing what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now knowing what it is, when people talk about, oh yeah, I think I'm actually having anxiety, I think it's so serious because that shit sucks. It's mm-hmm. terrible. Yeah. yeah. And it's like when you feel like you can't breathe. No, even, that's the worst. Oh my and god, that's what's crazy. It's like with like men as well, which is so important that like we're four men here that are able to talk about it. We're like, well, people like people will be like, oh, like I'm like really struggling with something. Be like, oh, you're like, like people think it's gay to get have good. Mental I was about health. to say, like, Andrew me, Tate thinks it's gay. To have like, yeah, it's like, me, what's me, me being <laughs> straight talking about mental health, and then Lori being um gay and talking about sorry, and being gay and talking about mental health is like two completely th- different things yeah you know fully. what i mean which is weird and it's strange and i think it's like what you're doing is important both of you guys yeah i will say like for y'all to be like straight men shout out to you because 
You got them in check. I honestly yeah. think having mm -hmm. gay brother really. I think yeah, Nick I mean, being 100%. gay and then like Nick making all of our friends too. He was always friends with girls, and that was like always like it's true. What Matt just said is like if he said some shit about like men's mental health, and you two said the exact same thing, people would take you two less seriously because they'd be like, oh, he's gay, feminine, which is so like crazy. Like, yeah, but he's more feminine, so it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. It's honestly mind blowing, in my opinion. We have literally written down. In our car videos on our other channel, we always have just super wild questions our viewers give us or just trending stuff going on that you probably haven't been asked before. So we're going to ask you them. Okay. Literally, yeah. Go for it. It's Who so wants to fun start? Though. I feel like I asked the last like Are these like questions three. like super duper like silly? Are these like gay son or thaw daughter? No, because... not that silly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they are, are silly. silly. They're right. silly, but you could like genuinely pretend to seriously answer them and that's the fun part. One superpower, what is it? If you had one superpower, what is it? Ooh, um, I would have to say, wait. I was going to say, like, elastic, but like, y'all don't want to know why I was going to say elastic. <laughs> that is um, crazy. I would say being invisible. Mm -hmm. You know, bitches be like, oh, I want to, like, a superpower to fly. Girl, go get on a fucking jet. Let's, like, <laughs> What's the first that? thing you're doing if you're invisible, though? You really want to know? Absolutely. I'm robbing everybody. All, I, I'm <laughs> robbing say, everybody. everybody. Absolutely. And I'm going to, like, I'm one of those bitches that's, like, spotted nick smoking for the first time ever and it's like you i'll fake it i'll get somebody blonde just to get <laughs> you just you. like photoshop yeah, i'll it. get somebody i'll blonde. get somebody blonde i'll like literally like not if you're invisible so you could literally prop up a camera and then just bring a cigarette near my face exactly or i'll blow the smoke near you yes yeah. oh it's my perfect. god you can stage it what would yours be uh teleport teleport yeah cause wait that's such only a good one it's like we go back and forth from boston and la all the time and it's like i'll be here and i'll be like fuck i miss nate so much and i want to fly home Boom. and it's like, did you try the grimace shake yes was it good no what would your mcdonald's meal be it would be well what i think people don't do at mcdonald's is the right thing why are you guys getting the spicy chicken sandwich or why are you getting the regular chicken sandwich out of the spicy chicken sandwich now this is what i would do buffalo sauce chicken sandwich patty Mix it all together, mm -hmm. right? Ranch. It's a spicy chicken sandwich, like actually like a mild spicy chicken sandwich. Right? Mm -hmm. That's oh, fire. Wow. Okay, isn't that good? Wow. That's a crazy thought. <laughs> like, I didn't even gag, like. I'm like, wow. I didn't, I didn't like, even know that McDonald's yeah. had like buffalo sauce. They, they have buffalo sauce. That's fine. I only get sweet and sour. They're always like, yeah. what sauce do you want? I'm like, there's options. Sweet and sour. I love sweet and sour. Is great. Sweet and sour is gross. I love sweet. Did and you sour. ever play Club Penguin? Mm -hmm. What color penguin were you? Pink. Okay. For, what were starships meant for? <laughs> okay. No. What uh, were starships meant for? I'm like, to get us to the moon and back. <laughs> um, starships are meant to fly. Touch up. Touch, what is it? Wait, I, I, know, I, I thought you know the lyrics. That's why I was like, really this is such a good get, question. You were to help me out. I was really begging for help no, right here. No, starships were meant to fly. Sorry, I'm, going back to to the, fly. I'm going back to the Club Penguin topic of things. Were you the type to, like, be in other people's igloos, or was yours the party igloo? Mine was the party igloo. Okay. And, it like, was who was on, was the guest list, like, friends of friends, anyone? Oh, it was for everybody. Okay. Oh, and wow. I hate parties where, like, you have to, like, be like, oh, my God, like, can I get on the list? No. Mm -hmm. Everyone, come on in. 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 And what color was your puffle? Was it pink to match you, or did you have a different I think one? it was pink to match me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Were y'all like... club playing winners, too? Absolutely. Big time. Of course. Big time. Do you know what Animal Jam is? Wait, it sounds so familiar. What is it's it? It's like Club Penguin, but like you can be any animal. Like you can be like a tiger, a penguin, a cheetah, a, wolf, a giraffe. Wait, am I like missing out? And you, you, animal Jam was the way. You lit. can do like, like fashion shows in Animal oh, Jam. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Should we yeah. play? An I'm, I'm down, down to play What about Jam. Roblox? Did you play Roblox? Yeah. No. Never. Our, my what? Friends, my friends? Yeah. Okay, look. I was Twitch streaming once, and then for some reason, I was playing Fortnite, and then like my thing tabbed out or whatever, and then people saw that I had it downloaded, and they were freaking out and telling me to play it. But I'm also me, not like let a, me play with you I'm guys. not like a mouse and keyboard guy. It's not really like that. It's kind of like it's kind of Club Penguin style. Okay. So um, since you guys haven't played, the first time you have to play is with me. I'm down. So I will teach you how to play Roblox. I'm it's down. So fun. We won't bully people though. Yes. Okay. No yeah. We'll be nice. Each other. We have to be nice yeah. to them. We'll, we'll be nice to everybody else, but we can we can cuss each other out. Okay. Yes. That? Sounds good. Do you have any more silly questions? Of course. Ready? This is crazy. One hundred people. One angry elephant who's winning are the hundred people like lgbt like, like, like it's a hundred like, it's, like it's like a, a random like random gender just random so people yeah. like a nine like, year old a nine year old woman like a, old. Could do like a strong See, now, dude it these could do a questions baby. yeah i need more like i need it's some more information people literally like plucked from the earth and then one hundred people really hundred people do you want to go 
a hundred people versus one. Do you angry know how elephant? big an elephant is, right? Yeah. You know how big we are as humans, right? Do you know how many we have guns? Or is, are they unarmed? Ooh, that's a good question. Very that important. That is a really I need detail. We did. I need like I need with the wearing okay, it's the like, shoes. Like I need the entire detail. There's a one goth girl with like six inch platforms. And okay. then <laughs> you waking up with like your alarm. <laughs> It's okay. You ready? I'm gonna get all the details right, right <laughs> Fun now. Goth girl. Okay, so it's so it's a hundred different people that were just randomly plucked from the earth in whatever they're wearing right now. So if this happened right now and you were wearing this, that's what you would be in. But do I get weapons when you get there? There's, there's a like weapons. A, there's chest. like a Hunger Games cornucopia in the we're middle. We're winning. You think a hundred people? Bitch, you think an elephant's gonna beat like a smart human being? But you gotta think like with the odds of plucking anyone, you have at least like fifteen elderly and fifteen like eighteen under that are like done for. And see, like, like they could be already like, eliminating they could thirty be, like, people. Fresh out it, and they're like see, straight you guys there. Are just, baby first of all, this is a hypothetical situation. Mm -hmm. But y'all want to get super duper. Oh, it's gonna be my Michelle Obama and Barack and his kids. It could be. It no, could be. it can't be. And you know why? Because I make the rules and I live my own fantasy. All right, Fuck. there you Valid. go. And I'm silencing your question. So that people because are now I feel like I'm wrong it. and I don't want to be wrong. What if it was a gorilla? Because oh, gorillas have gorillas like equal, asses. right? Mm -hmm. They have equal strength, but they have crazy mobility. Yeah. No, gorillas. And you have to think like with the hundred people that just get spawned into this like like say it's like a cage. But what, if the, what, but what if one of you was Ice Spice? Because then we're winning. Yeah, yeah, true. Absolutely. Think about it. It depends. Honestly, like one person could make or break the other ninety nine. Like, and if, like we, get, if I get there and Ice Spice starts singing right away, I'm good. Like, I'm clearing no, you're, this girl. you're going to be fine. If you yeah. went to the movie theater and 3D was the only option, are you leaving or watching the movie? I'm leaving so fast. Yeah. What? Do you want a headache? 3D is crazy. <laughs> that is true. Like, <laughs> I want a headache. I'd go watch it, but I'd like put, like, you know, people like, like M&M's and everything. Out the popcorn. <laughs> I'd put Advil in my popcorn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, just some ibuprofen with my popcorn for the movie. Oh, like, because that's not a bad idea. Even when I'm watching movies, I still get headaches. No, literally. All right, just so that's how I found out I needed glasses. 2.30 a.m., you wake up, you're hungry. What He's are you silencing doing? the game. I win. know. That was crazy. Only because I like you here, I'm going to be nice because the, the silencing was yeah, crazy. Yeah, you didn't trust me. That was wild. You okay? It's okay. I'll survive. 2.30 what? 2.30 a.m., you wake up and you're hungry. What are you eating? Hot Cheetos. Okay. And Oreos. At 2.30 a.m.? <laughs> you know and like, Oreos? <laughs> bitch, you want to fight? That is crazy. Everything I said, you'd be like, really? The combo is just wild. With the table? <laughs> like, God, like a hot thing, like hot Cheetos and hot Oreos Cheetos blows are my gas. mind. Um, this is a question for me. Okay, go. Have you ever had a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Really? I think we're still dating. We haven't broke up. I just left high school. Wow. Or I left middle school and never talked to How talking. serious would you say it was? Um, it was serious enough for me. Oh. <laughs> that was crazy. I heard that. I heard, so like, that was like, yeah, that was like voice you acting. Brought me back. Wait, that was a good. Y'all should use that for that a was good goal. Yeah, someone got to <laughs> use that for something. Like that was voice actor right Thank there. Thank you. Thank. Uh, what can I say? Um, it was so serious that like I was like I, I was trying to play that role. Like I was trying to prove that I was straight. Wow. So I did everything. Wow. And when I mean everything. He means everything. everything. Wow. And I never knew it smelled like that. Wow. See, right. I've never had a girlfriend. Good. I'm blessed to yeah, it's never okay because like, through that phase. We don't need to do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you don't have a girlfriend. I feel like you'd be like traumatized. Yeah. I was like, my brain made me think I liked a girl, but I liked her boyfriend. That was mine. Yeah. Do this. Do me a favor. Say, hi, my name is Nick Sir. That Sir Nilio. No, and I'm a badass guy. bitch. Say it for I me. I can't. I literally can't get that sentence out of my mouth. I my Nick can stern into you. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't say your fucking last name. We'll teach you. We'll have like a Story master class you. right after. All this. right, so we're down to our last three little points here. <laughs> yeah, but they're not. These aren't the goofy ones. These are like these, the, these are like, these like, are like outro, like fun little questions. Okay, should we each ask a different one? I'll do yeah, the first three. One. Okay, what Pinky goal Chris. do you have for yourself for the future? A goal to have for myself in the future, I would say to at least make a little more um an impact that I'm already doing. That's mm -hmm. a great goal. Beautiful. I want to leave off like I feel like I left off with just oh yeah, Larry. If I'm dead, y'all, and all I hear is yeah, Larry, he made that great diss track. I need something. I'm like, well, yeah, Larry, he saved like a thousand children. Like, yeah, mm. we should like go remix number three and just give a speech in the middle. Or we should I all do a them group to do it. give back to the community. Us four, we can go and like. I uh, like that idea. We should. Actually, I'm with it. <laughs> actually, I'm so down. down. I'm just a little afraid. I'm uh, like, it's crunch time right now. Like, <laughs> give me till tour's over, and then I'll help everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, that'd be fun. Hey, Levi. Okay. Nick, I feel, I'm going to skip a question because I feel like it makes sense to change the order. But um, anything new that you're up to that people should look out for? 
Mm-mm. I don't. I'm a, I'm a strong believer of not telling anybody what I'm working on until okay. it's done. That's, that's so you're planning. Honestly, great. And, yeah, people. Plotting. Yeah, don't tell the, the bitch your next move. That's great. That's, that's honestly, honestly huge. Yeah. All right, and this is the last question. What is a word or a sentence to describe your life off camera? Girl, what the hell? That's it. That's the sentence. Girl, what the hell? Girl, Girl what the, the hell? hell? I love it. I love that. That was too. awesome. That's amazing. I thought you talking to me. Y- like, wait, do you, <laughs> do you want me to honestly? I don't even know if I'm about to say this, but I want, before we end this, I just want y'all to like, timing is crazy because this is what's going to lead into what I mean by girl, what the hell? So I haven't talked to my ex in so long, right? Mm-hmm. We don't talk. Mm-hmm. But yesterday on my birthday, guess who I got a call from? Boom. Oh. My dad. Oh. Right? Guess who we got in the car accident with? Oh, oh, my ex. Oh. oh, wow. My dad's never in LA. So now, ever since then, I'm just like, my life like doesn't make sense. That's actually that's insane, like, so now that's insane girl, what the hell? Odds. That's that is very that is girl, that is crazy. What the hell? Yeah. So that's like, crazy. I know. Should I get a therapist? Yeah. Yeah. Just talk we'll to just Matt. Have to talk about it. Yeah, I talk know. to Matt. <laughs> well, this is over, guys. We'll talk. You'll help me out. That is crazy. All right, thank you so much for joining us. Am I out now? Yeah. yeah, yeah if I don't want to leave, what are you going to do about that? You're going to kick me out? Well, you can stay, but the cameras are going to be off. Okay, so guys, to get me back here, I need you guys to thumb this video up and then comment, bring Larry back now. Like, I need yes. you to spam the comments. Stat. We'll, do it. we'll do a reunion. We yeah. have to do one. Run we'll it back. But next time, we have to, like, switch the order. Yeah. yeah. Like, I need to be over there. You need to be over here. We, we can bring Arrington next time, too. He definitely can, can should say come. say bye, Lise? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Arrington, Arrington, come in. Don't Arrington. say bye so they can put a, a face to the picture. Arrington. Arrington. Can he hear us? Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 You weren't thoroughly entertained the whole time. Were you not entertained at all? No, I was entertained. Um, be honest. Um, Laura, she said, "Oh, your phone is too loud." I was watching TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. Funny. Well, this is Arrington, everybody. Yeah. So thank you guys for friend. having me. Yes. I love you guys. I had so much I fun. appreciate that it. Awesome. Thank was... you for coming to talk to us. I appreciate it a lot. Of course, that was great amazing. Person. Of course, of course. And I love great conversation. So it was thank very you. needed. Wait, and... it doesn't feel like we were on a timer. I know. Wait, y'all. I'm sorry for being here for so long. No, no that, that was, was great. It. That was awesome. my bad. Okay, this is me walking away because I know y'all. Say we're gonna be all day. Bye.